If you use HubSpot for marketing, sales, or both, this video is for you because I'm, go I'm going to teach you how to connect your HubSpot data with Google Looker Studio, the data visualization tool from Google, and you will be able to create custom reports like this one where you can see the breakdown by, by deal owner, all the performance information of your CRM, and also your marketing initiatives, email marketing strategies, and everything you have in HubSpot. I know that reporting in HubSpot sometimes can be tricky and you can't integrate that information with different platforms such as J4 or LinkedIn or any other platform that is in your go-to-market strategy or marketing strategy. So basically, I'm going to teach you how to do this by connecting HubSpot to Looker Studio and then you can re replicate the same process for any data source you want to integrate. So let's go. If you want the template I'm using in this video and that you saw, then the easiest and fastest way to do it is here on forementrics.com slash en slash onboarding, as you can see here. And then from here, clicking on HubSpot, and then you will be redirected to Looker Studio to authorize your HubSpot account with foreign metrics. And this will include the default template, okay? This is the easiest and fastest way to do it if you want the template. Then if you are already on Looker Studio and you are starting from scratch, you can click on Create and Board. Or inside of your report, you can click here on Add Data. And you will see something like this. Then you have to type on the search bar the name of the connector you want, in this case, HubSpot. I'm using the parametric connector that includes a 14-day free trial as the other third-party connectors. One thing that I really like of the hubs of the parametric hubs hubspot connector is that it includes all the fields like marketing, deals, and contacts in one single integration. Other connectors, you have to connect each table you want from the API. And that's a little bit confusing and some fields are not so easy to find and to use. So I think that the HubSpot connector makes a really good job making it easy for the end user and parametrics stores the data so it, your dashboard runs faster. Those are two good reasons to use the parametrics connector. Okay, then you can click here and the only thing you have to do is authorize. Actually, if this is the first time you are using any parametrics connector, you will have to authorize with Looker Studio first. It's very easy. Just click the bottom and follow the steps. And the second authorization is the one with HubSpot. This one takes a little bit of, of more time, but it's pretty easy. Just click here on authorize, and then you will be redirected to HubSpot. If you are logged in, it will redirect you immediately. Then you have to sign in with Google, and it's better if you sign in with the same email you're using for the Looker Studio dashboard. That's a recommendation. Then here you can select the account you want to integrate to Looker Studio. Then you can click here on choose account and then you can confirm. Sometimes you will see this message, but this is very normal because HubSpot sometimes takes time to verify the platforms. Basically ignore this message and just click here on the checkbox. Any third party connector will need your permissions to access the data that is that it's in your HubSpot account and to connect that to Looker Studio. So that's normal, okay? Then when you are here, your data is already connected. You did everything great. That's awesome. Then when you are here, you can add a new HubSpot account that I don't think it's the case right now because it's your first integration. And then you will click next. This will send you to this thank you page and then you have to close this tab, okay? So close this tab and this will redirect you immediately to Looker Studio. Once you're here, you have to click on the drop down just to select the account name you want to integrate to Looker Studio. Okay, so here is very easy. Just select your account and you are done. Then click on add. And this is one of the final steps because basically here you will see what? Here in the right uh, part of your panel, you will see your data sources. Okay, in this case, HubSpot. All the fields, here you can see that you have a lot of fields, so maybe using the search bar, make every, it's going to make everything easier. And then you will see the default template if you follow the steps I showed you, at least from the parametrics page. But I have a good news. If you want this template, you can search this template at parametrics.com slash en slash template. But this is not it. I'm going to show you how to edit your, your data source. You can see this is totally customizable. Here you can change your logo, you can change the colors here, and you can even change the metrics. And a field here just by typing and selecting. Also, if you want to add charts from scratch, just click add a chart, just paste it here, 
and you can change the dimension and the metrics. We have tutorials for this. If you are new to Looker Studio, just check our channel and you will see different videos. If you see an error like this, it's because the dimension and the metric are not compatible. Just search for metrics that make sense together. For instance, the old stage will be one and then the other will be like total deals, for instance, then these two make sense together because they are from the same type of field. So now you can see the metrics, okay? So that's how you fix a, a broken table. Now, let's see how to edit the data source you just added. Maybe because you need to reauthorize, change the account or whatever. You can click here on resource and then you will click manage added data sources. And once you're here, please click on edit and then you will see all the fields that are included in this connector, okay? And your account, because this also includes custom fields. That's very important because basically if you created fields in HubSpot, you want them to be here on your report, okay? So you can search any fields here and you can change also the type of metric. So you can explore a lot here, but we are going to edit the connection here at the top left corner. If you click on edit connection, then you can change the account you just connected or you can add additional accounts or reconnect here on this link, okay? So now you know this, you can reconnect and you can keep editing your Looker Studio dashboard. Okay, so check our other tutorials. We have a lot of Looker Studio tutorials and marketing tutorials. Let, let me know if you have any questions here in the comments and I will see you in a new tutorial. Bye.